Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to today's video. Today, if you could tell by the title, we are going to work on the story quest with Merlin. And I believe this is going to complete the story for Act 1, which is perfect because Act 2 is coming out in uh, two days on Tuesday. So I'm recording this on Sunday. Um, I'll put it up on Monday, but this will be the end, I believe, of Act 1. If it's not, I also will be completing uh, the Fairy Godmother's Level 10 Friendship Quest, which one of those is the one that will initiate that, but I believe it's going to be this one. So without further ado, let's get started. Also, before we completely start, uh, if you are new here, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. So we are going to begin by going to talk to Merlin. Unless I check the map, he's over here by his house. Yep, there he is. All right. <clears throat> the Forgotten Relics. Ah, stuff. the fairy godmother has informed me of all you went through in the dreamscape. I hope having to live out someone else's memories wasn't too, er, terribly discombobulating for you. I wanted to talk about what I learned from the Forgotten's memories. Of course, tell me what you surmised. The Forgotten can be saved. The Forgotten's just a mixed up kid. I know we can fix all this. I just have to find the right words to say. I'm afraid there might not be words that will stop the Forgotten, at least not words I've found, for I've certainly tried. I saw you trying to talk to the Forgotten in one of the memories. You gave the Forgotten some great advice. It's too bad they weren't ready to hear it yet. Really? Which memory was it? What did I say? You said that no matter what we leave behind, there are some things that must never be forgotten. Things like friendship, love, and care. Of course. That was rather wise of me, wasn't it? You need only look skyward anywhere in the valley to see what happens when we do forget. You have noticed the rips in the sky, haven't you? Why the very fabric of reality is coming undone around us. To find the forgotten and stop this, we'll need something connected to the forgotten. Something left behind. Like what? The forgotten hasn't left anything behind that I've noticed. Oh, but that's where you're wrong. Follow me. I've uncovered something at Mickey's house that's sure to help us. It'll be easier to understand once you've seen it. All right. So those up there are the ripples in the sky that Merlin was referring to. <clears throat> Observe, there on the roof of Mickey's house, it's not just the rips in the sky. There's dark magic bleeding through the very fabric of reality. Fortunately, the, phenom the phenomenon <laughs> is quite localized. Only certain places seem to be affected. Maybe these places were important to the Forgotten? Yes, though I hypothesize that it's not the places themselves, but something inside of them. All right. Enter his house. All right. Search Mickey's house to find something with the dark magic. I'm going to go with this book on the coffee table that is uh, just steaming with dark black and purple. The Forgotten Storybook. Yes, yes, there you are. Good. This one. Now, let's see. Ah, a book of fairy tales. Oh, dear. It's positively saturated with dark magic. It must have been the Forgotten's once. There's no other explanation. We've got something that belonged to the Forgotten. What's next? I'm afraid for this enchantment, we'll need at least three more Forgotten Relics, just like this. Uh, where do I find them? You must keep an eye out for more places where dark magic is seeping through into our world. They could be anywhere in the village. Some of the relics might be quite special. Others more mundane, but they'll all have dark magic emanating from them, just like this one does. Got it. Find the relics. Save the village. Ah, ah, that's not all. We must also obtain the story behind each relic. Stories hold a magic all their own. Uncover the stories and you'll be able to harness the magic. You must discover why these things were of importance to the Forgotten. 
You found the first one in Mickey's house. Perhaps Mickey knows the story behind it. I'll look around the village and go talk to Mickey. Thanks, Merlin. All right, so there are four more that I need to find. All right, so I know offhand that there was one in the Sunlit Plateau at Scar's Cave. So we're going to head there now. All right, so we're going to go with this drawing. Okay. And it looks like this might still be glitching because it's not counting that I have found two of these yet. <clears throat> okay, I believe there's one in Olaf's place. So... Let's go to the Frosted Heights. All right, so let's go back here. Yep. So Mickey's house, Scar's cave, Olaf's hidden room, I guess you could call it. And then I believe the last one's going to be on the beach. So we are looking for this blanket right here in the corner. Okay, so we've got that. And then I believe the last one, just from running around the village, is on the beach in the cave where we met Ursula for the first time. So, let's go to the beach. <clears throat> oh, yep, you can already see it up there. So we are in the right spot, guys. Let's go in here. All right. Yep, these beach toys. All right, so now that we've done that... We have to find Mickey, Olaf, Scar, and Ursula. So let's start with whoever's closest to us. All right, let's check the map. Oh, Ursula's in her house. So we will start there. Alright, so I do still have uh, Ursula in her Vanessa form from purchasing the Dream Bundle with my Moonstones, so if you're curious how I have her, that is how. Um, but I think I've mentioned in videos before, if you do spend the Moonstones to get her in this form, she does come with several quests to do uh, daily for several days. So, it's not like you're just spending Moonstones to get, you know, a human form of a character. Angelfish, have you finally come to ask for my help dealing with all that trouble in the sky? 
It's about time. You're right, I do need your help. Take a look. What is this rubble you're handing me? If you're looking to trade, you'll need to find something far better than all of this. I found those beach toys in the same cave that I freed you from. I think they used to belong to the Forgotten. Do you remember them? These might be the key to saving Dreamlight Valley. Hmm, now that you mention it, they do look a tad familiar. I'll tell you about them, and it'll all cost you is a simple commendation. I hear everyone else around here are receiving them. Don't I deserve some accolades, too? <clears throat> uh, nobody's better at making deals. And don't you forget it, I always come out on top. Now then, those trinkets. You used to play with them as a child. You and Moana. Moana? Of course, I'll go talk to Moana. And Steph, when you find the Forgotten and stop this little scheme, tell them to come see me. I can teach them a thing or two about getting what they want. <laughs> Alright, so... I saw Olaf in the forest at one point. Hopefully he's still up there. Let's find out. He is not. Mickey and Moana are in the restaurant. Let's see. Oh, there's Olaf. He's coming to me. All right, let's go intercept Olaf. There he is. The sky looks angry. Unfortunately, my arms aren't long enough to give it a hug. I was hoping you could help me with that. Me? Oh, I love to help. Wait, how am I supposed to help? I found a blanket in the secret chamber. I think it used to belong to the Forgotten. Do you know anything about it? The fuzzy, cuddly blanket? You found it! Hooray! But I don't know too much about it. Oh, but I do know who might. Elsa. I remember it from her room at the castle. Of course, she doesn't get cold. But I think she just likes being cozy sometimes. She has to know the story behind that blanket. Thanks, Olaf. I guess I'll have to go talk to Elsa if we're going to have any hope of stopping the Forgotten. And in the meantime, I'll just find and categorize all the different kinds of rocks in the village. Uh, great plan. I thought so. I'm calling it controlling what I can when things feel out of control. Alright. Well, we may as well get Elsa while we're here. Stuff, I've seen what's going on in the sky over the village. If there's any way I can help, you only have to ask. Maybe you can make an ice shield around? If it comes to that, I'm certainly happy to try. Well, I know there's one way you can definitely help. Take a look at this. Does it look familiar? Oh, it... It does look familiar. From a long time ago. We think it belonged to the Forgotten. We need to know the story behind it. It's funny, just a second ago, it was like my memories of this were covered by a mist. But then, I looked at you, and I thought of our friendship, and the adventures we've gone on together. And I remembered, I gave this to you. You were just a child then. You wanted to explore the ice cavern with me. But it was so cold in there, so I brought you my favorite blanket from home. And when the Forgotten split off, well, I guess they held on to it until they dropped it in the secret chamber. I wish I could remember this. But I guess the Forgotten has some of those memories. Well, I hope you can help pull the Forgotten back from the edge before it's too late. And if you do manage to bring them back, well, maybe I can talk with them. I know what it's like to go too far. Thanks, Elsa. It's all I need for now. The magic coming off the blanket seems stronger already. <clears throat> All right. Let's go get Mickey and Moana from the restaurant. Oh, Scar's right here. Ah, Steph, just who I was thinking of. By my estimations, you're doing a rather poor job ruling over this valley. Why, it looks to me like the sky is falling in. Aren't you sure you wouldn't be happier with someone more cunning in charge? Nice try, Scar. I've no idea what you mean. But if you haven't come here to ask me to reign over the valley, then what do you want? I found something in your cave. I think it used to belong to the Forgotten. 
It might be the key to stopping the Forgotten's plans. Do you know the story behind it? Ugh, no. I've never seen it before. Are you sure? Positively. Besides, why would I want to remember such a hideous, charmless image of me? Aha, so you admit it's a drawing of you. <clears throat> Please, Scar, this might be the only way to stop the Forgotten and save the valley. Whatever, I know about that thing. I'd sooner take it to the grave than tell you. Look, maybe you don't trust me enough to tell me yet. But sooner or later, Scar, I'll show you that I'm your friend. You'll tell me. I highly doubt it. All right. Let's go get Mickey and Moana. All right. Gosh, stuff. Things around the village aren't looking so good. Those cracks in the sky are pretty scary. Is there anything I can do to help? Maybe you can. Does this look familiar? A book of fairy tales? You betcha. That's been in my house for just as long as I can remember. We think it once belonged to the Forgotten. Do you know the story behind it? It's funny. Now that you show it to me, I'm remembering everything. When you were just a little kid, we read this together. At first, I'd read it to you, and then one day, all of a sudden, you were old enough to read it to me. Oh, and sometimes we just make up our own stories to go along with the pictures. I wish I could remember this. It's a pretty special book. Lots of stories about brave heroics and evil villains, and everything comes out right just in time for the happily ever after. Maybe we can read it together again someday. Oh, I'd love that, since we haven't read together since... since... Hey, now that I think about it, the last time we read this together was right before the forgetting. But, gosh, that wasn't really you, was it? It was the forgotten. They, they left the book with me. They seemed pretty mad. But I think deep down they were really sad about something. Gee, I hope you can help the forgotten out. Mickey, the storybook, the magic coming off of it is stronger than ever. You've done a lot to help. Now I'll do my part to try to save the forgotten. All right, where's Moana? There she is. Hi. Hey, Moana, I've got something I need to, you to look at. Sure stuff. Oh, what are these? Toys? Are you sure you want to play in the sand? Shouldn't you be saving the valley? Mm, these toys are the key to saving the valley. What do you mean? I think these toys used to belong to the Forgotten. I was hoping you might remember them. They do look familiar, but it's like the fogs rolled over in my memories of them. There has to be something in there. Just spending time with you, Steph, I can feel the fog starting to lift. Maybe if we spend more time together, if we bring back some of your memories of the past and make some new memories. That could work. I'm sure I still have the memory somehow. All right, so... All right, so I am going to work on some friendship quests for both Scar and Moana, and uh, then we can continue on. All right, so I am back now. Um, all I had to do was level up Moana and Scar to their level 10 friendship and then complete those quests. Um, and completely end it. And then I was able to get the information out of both of them that we needed to continue on. So now we just need to go talk to Merlin and we're going to show him the relics now that we have all of the stories behind them. And last I checked on the map, he was over here by his study. Yes, he still is. I can see him back there. So... Let's continue on with ending Act 1. Well, hello. There we go. Bravo! You found enough forgotten relics for us to proceed with the enchantment. The magic coming off of them is stronger than anything the forgotten left behind. And it's story magic. Of that, I'm certain. 
We mustn't tarry a moment longer. Are you ready to pass through and explore the dark castle? Yes. Confidence, that's exactly what you'll need, Steph. With confidence, I know you can face any challenge. You've learned a great deal since that first day you returned to the valley. It feels like yesterday. To you, to me, it seems as though I've barely blinked my eyes, and yet so much time has passed. You've become the ruler that Dreamlight Valley needs. Look around at all you've done, all the friends you've brought back. I'm proud of you. Now follow me and let's set the world right before I devolve into unbearable sentiment. All right. To the plaza we go. All right. Focus your magic on the relics. By harnessing the story magic within them and the tie they have to the forgotten, we should be able to create a doorway to the other dimension. There we go. The portal is open. All that remains is for you to walk through. And hurry, I fear Dreamlight Valley is becoming more unstable as we speak. I'll do my best. We've all seen that your best is more than enough, but if you face any troublesome challenges, remember, we'll always be here to aid you. While you're gone, perhaps the fairy godmother and I can consult on what to do about all this dark magic in the sky. Well, what are you waiting for? Go on, work your magic while we stay behind and work ours. All right, here we go. All right, so now we need to enter the dark castle. Okay, so pass through the first door. Investigate it. Something is weird about this door. What's this? Who has come to wake me? Oh, it's you. Or, I mean, your most humble highness. Only say the word and I'll do your bidding without so much as squeaking my hinge. How did you learn to talk? Why, you taught me, of course. Once I was nothing but a slab of iron with a handle. But then I awoke to the sound of your voice, whispering an enchantment. I've stood here ever since. Do you get bored just standing here? Bored? Well, no, it's peaceful here. Doors don't need much excitement, you know. All the exciting things are usually on the other side of us. That is the fate of a door, to always be stuck in between. Mostly I sleep until you wake me to let you pass. Let me pass. Of course, your highness, I shall. Wait a moment, it's so hard to see you squinting through my keyhole. You look like yourself, but something is different. Something is wrong. How dare you step aside? Humans are so complex, one demand one day, another the next. But I'm afraid we doors are quite simple. We are either open or shut, locked or unlocked. I am shut, for you have told me never to let you pass without your wings and crown. All right. So let's see. And then just because... Let's do, 
Let's add some more pieces to it. There we go. And then there's some pants. Just in case, let's add these. And then boots. I usually pair it with these boots. There we go. Hello, Dor. It's me again, the Forgotten. As you can see, I look very forgotten-y now, so I guess you'll be opening for me, right? Hmm. You do look more like my creator now, as they once appeared long ago. Though, something about you still doesn't seem quite right. Ugh. You must have dust in your keyhole. It's really me. Yes. Yes, I suppose that might be so. Of course, there are challenges and dangers in this castle much greater than me. If you're trying to deceive, if you're not my creator, then you'll surely fail to pass through one of the next doors. But for now, I shall swing open and let you proceed. <clears throat> All right, so let's go deeper. into this castle. All right. Um, oh, here we go. Remove that. Let's go up here. <clears throat> All right, so let's go to the second door. Okay. Okay, so she wants something made. All right, so what does this say? Okay, she likes it simple. Her name is Doreen. Only a few ingredients necessary. She hates having bad breath. She likes something with extra crunch. She likes things well seasoned. And she refuses to eat anything not grown right here in the castle. All right. So, there's some ingredients. So, let's get Dreamlight Salt. Oh, just one. A Thorn Sprout. And the lettuce, whoops. Since she doesn't like garlic, because that would make her breath bad. So let's mix this together. Whoops. Thorn sprout, the lettuce, and the salt. All right, so we have made a night thorn sprout salad. And that is what she should want. All right, so let's go do this. There we go. All right. Clear those out of the way and let's go up the stairs. 
Move some things here. All right, so. Note to self, to see the door, try changing your perspective. Only with the blink of a mechanical eye can you unlock the way forward. So. All right, so. A mechanical eye, I'm gonna say is a camera lens. There we go. All right, so that's all you gotta do. You just gotta take a picture of the door and you should be good to go. All right, <clears throat> let's move these out of the way. The door is locked. Okay, so we are gonna need to get some torches. So there's one right here. Um, There we go. There's the other one. We can get some snowballs too while we're at it. Pick up another memory or something. All right. <clears throat> There we go. There's another one right here in this ice block. All right. And then I need the last one. All right. It should be... Hmm. Where is that last one? I have them all oh I do have them all okay I didn't realize I picked one up okay nope there we go okay there we go and then as you can see we just got to put the torches in their proper proper spots um, if it's wrong, it won't let you put it in there, so that is a tip. All right, and then All right, so now we need to use our fishing rod to get the key out. And it's one of the bubbles that will take four tries to get it. Or three that time. That was odd. Okay. We got another memory piece. From the Little Mermaid. All right. <clears throat> Unlock the door. With the key.
Huh? You again? How did you make it past all my doors? Uh, it was tough, but I did it. Well, sorry to tell you, but all of your hard work was for nothing. I've already cast the spell. Not even I could stop it now. We can stop it together. Together? <laughs> yeah, sure. You know, if you hadn't abandoned me here in the first place, none of this would be happening. I never meant for you to get left behind. I didn't know. I just... I got caught up in my own life. More lies. More lies to try to confuse me. All I want to do is make sure no one ever goes through what I went through. I won't let you ruin that. Please, I don't want to fight. You don't want to fight because you know I'll win. You asked for this. Let's go. <clears throat> All right, so go towards the light. All right. Where are we? Is this some kind of trick? No, I didn't do this. When our magic collided, it brought us here. Maybe it's... A memory? I think you're right. I think... I think it's a place we share together. Somewhere our oldest memories go. Then that must mean... The sandbox. You remember it too, don't you? But something's not right about it. Something's missing. I can fix it. I know I can. All right. Did you see that? The second we focused our magic, the sandbox looks just how I remember it. It's starting to come back to me, too. Do you remember what it was like being just a little kid? The only limit was your imagination. Yeah, we used to play for hours, making up stories, going on adventures. I miss that. I wish it could be that way again. Maybe it can be. I, I wish I could believe that. Ugh, whatever. Just... Follow me. I think there's more stuff hidden in here. All right. Here's the next light over here. Out of bed. This. This was our childhood bed, wasn't it? But something about it isn't right. Something's missing. Do you think we could fix this one the same way we fixed the sandbox? Ah, come on. There we go. Of course, this feels right. This is how I remember it looking. I remember this blanket now, or at least a blanket just like it. I remember when I was snuggled under it. Yeah, that sounds right. It was like, even if everything in the universe was messed up, we were safe under that blanket. But that was just kids stuff. Life can't be that simple anymore. Maybe not always, but just because you're a grown-up doesn't mean you always need to act grown-up. I, I guess not. Come on, follow me. There's more to discover in here. That's the portal. Oh, she's over here now. Okay. Looks like it's a desk. <clears throat> okay. This desk. I don't remember anything about it. I think I do. This was where I used to do my homework. Homework was never my favorite. Ugh, me too. I remember wishing I could go play instead. It was like we were being pulled apart. I wanted to play, but you wanted to work. 
There must be something else here, though, something from before all that. All right. Of course, before this desk was a scary place for doing homework. It was a fun place, a place for creativity. I remember we used to sit here for hours and draw. Of course, I wonder where all those old drawings went. Probably in a box somewhere. I hope they didn't get thrown out. Now all I use my creativity for is making the dark castle. It doesn't feel the same. There's nothing stopping us from working together again like we used to. I, I don't know. Let's just keep looking around. All right. Next light. It's a bookshelf. Looks sort of dusty. I guess we haven't touched anything on it in a long time. We just got too busy. When that started happening, it was like a part of me was drifting away. But, but if we brush the dust off of the shelf, maybe it could be like it used to be. There we go. I remember now, this bookshelf, it used to be covered in our favorite stories. We'd spend hours reading them together. Stories let us be whatever we wanted. Even when we were just a little kid in a big world, stories let us feel powerful. They let us be whoever we wanted. I, I wish it could be like that again. It can be, trust me. Growing up doesn't have to mean leaving the things that are important behind us. You can hang on to what you love. But what would you hang on to? Joy and enthusiasm. When you're a little kid, you're not so afraid of stuff yet. All you know is joy and excitement about everything you find. I never want to lose that feeling, no matter how old I get. Me neither. I guess there's still more of a connection between us than I thought. That and I can't get what Merlin told me out of my head all of a sudden. Love, kindness, and acts of care. You need those too, don't you? Now you're getting it, and the stories we loved as kids, they hold all of these things. Of course, so as long as we remember those stories, the things we have loved about being kids, they'll never be. They'll never be forgotten. Exactly. Come with me. All of those things are waiting for us back in Dreamlight Valley. After everything I've done, it's not too late. It's never too late. The spell I started, I don't know if I can stop it on my own. Then we'll stop it together. Come on.
love it. So with that being said, that is the end of Act 1. We have sealed up the sky. The rifts are gone for now. And uh, we have done everything. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Um, tomorrow on December 5th is when the new update drops. So I hope you guys are really excited. I'm very excited. There is going to be a paid uh, expansion. I think it's like a DLC dropping as well. So I am going to make some videos on that to hopefully help you guys out. But with all that being said, this video is completed. So be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys uh, probably tomorrow. Bye.